In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you two ways in which you can move an image of any kind onto the screen using the new interface in PowerDirector 2024 or 365. We're going to work in the quick edit mode and then in the advanced edit mode. And you could decide which one you prefer. So I have my video on track number one. Let's take my image. It could be anything. I've used a logo and put that on track two, and we'll increase the duration to match my video. Now I need to resize it, obviously, so we'll simply take our mouse and make it smaller, and I need to bring it in from off the screen. But one problem I have is I can't see off the screen. Now this is a change in the interface. In order to magnify or shrink it, I now click below my image, above the timeline, to the magnifying glass, and I have several zooms that I can choose. Let me try 50% and see if that works. Well, that's not too bad. I can see there. It also moved my playhead off the screen. That's good. I can work there. I can see where it is. When I click on there, I see this menu. I'm going to click on image. We're going to actually work with a position. So what I want to do is click on the keyframes button and we'll set a keyframe. Now I have to make sure that I have these attributes open because we're going to work on position. Let me show you a simple way to do that. All I need to do is take and drag it where I want it to start. Let's say it's down here off the screen. And you notice what I did. Whenever I move this, it will set a keyframe, a little blue keyframe right there where I start. Uh, now I, my playhead must be at the beginning of the clip because that's where we start. Now how do I do the ending? I need to decide how many seconds or parts of seconds it will take to move. So I can click on my time code in the lower right. I'm going to type the number 3 in and press enter. And you notice that will move my playhead over here, 3 seconds. And let's take it and move it anywhere we want. Notice we have an arrow indicating whether we're perfectly horizontal, vertical, or whatever. So if we stop this and we play from the beginning, we're going to see it will come up. And stop. If we want it to move faster, how do we do that? Well, we simply click on our second keyframe, hold the mouse and drag to the left, and the, the closer these are together, the faster the apparent motion. So we'll go back to the beginning and we'll play it, and now it moves more quickly. That's how you can do this in the quick edit mode. Let me show you how to do the same thing in a different mode. I'm going to right click and remove all my keyframes. I'll turn, I'll go back to edit and let's work in the advanced mode, which is my preference. We'll click on advanced and now I have a bigger screen to work with, which is one thing that I like. If you do not see these timelines below, you need to expand the area by clicking on the blue up or down arrow. We'll be using that. I want to make sure my object settings are open and my playheads on the left side. I'll click and start a value by clicking on the plus here. And now at frame 01, I have a keyframe. One thing I like about this view is if I click on the zoom in and zoom out, I can be a lot more careful about how big or small my image is. I also can easily move this. So wherever I start now, it's going to set that keyframe. Let's move it on the other side and move straight up. So again, I use my key code. I type in the the length of time I want. Let's go three, press enter. And then all I have to do like before is simply drag. I do not have an arrow, but I have a bigger screen to work on and I like that. And then if we want to play what we have, we can simply hit the play key, it goes back to full screen and I get to see the results. Again, you can modify the distance between the keyframes and anything else you want. When you're done, click on OK and you're back to your main edit screen. Uh, to restore this, I'll click on the this and click on fit, and now I'm back. So those are the two different ways you can use this tool to bring an image, anything you like, onto the screen from off the screen in the new interface in PowerDirector.